Oh, I see they're feeding too. They are feeding too. You can hear the sound when the food is coming. To the bottom. Yeah, that, that's the feeder. Yeah. Food is coming out. And the fish comes up. Oh. And I have a question, uh, how many fish are inside one of these cages? 50,000. How many? 50,000. 50, I have 10,000, 50,000. 25,500. I will give you, the thing is, this net keeps the fish trapped here. This net goes 40 meters down. 40 meters. Under here, it's about 100 meters to the bottom. Oh, wow. Uh, this ring is about 120 meters. In one cage, there are 100,000 fish. Ooh. So in... Yes, absolutely. We have a winner. Yeah, 100,000 fish. It's a rule in Norway that it just at all times, it shall be 97.5% water and only 2.5% with fish to give them space. Yeah. Oxygen, they need oxygen and they, they need the currency to get through through the cages. Yeah, and through the nuts. So, how long are they in this net? About one year. But the thing is, it always takes a long time to harvest the fish as well. I told you it was 100,000 fish here. When this fish becomes five kilos, uh, we can harvest about 100 ton per week. So to harvest this cage will take us five weeks. Yeah, so, so the harvesting time takes, uh, yeah, takes a while as well, yeah. But now we only have three cages left here, yeah. This is it's a, it's a shirt that goes five meters down and that is to avoid sea lice. Have you heard about sea lice? No. Sea lice is a parasite. Parasite? Yeah. 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 Uh, that goes to the salmon or on the skin. Uh, they get on the fish very small. But during some time they grow bigger. Oh and will sooner or later put the claws into the salmon and trout and start sucking blood. Uh -huh. That sea lice is the biggest challenge we got in Norway. So we have some skirts here to avoid because they go in the first five meters, oh, these sea lices. Yeah. So is that medication or a no, killer? No, this is only, uh, it's to only, uh, yeah. No, yeah, no medication. If we need to treat the fish for sea lice, then we order in a well boat, take all the fish inside the well boat, and when you pump it out again, they will go through some hot water. Uh, the sea lice will not uh, stay alive during the process, but the salmon and trout will go back into the cage and everything is okay. okay. Yeah. We count out. When the well boat is coming here, put the fish out. We know from the lab factory how many fish there are, but the boat will also count the fish on board. And we will uh, registrate every dead fish at all times. So we will, at every, yeah, we will know how much fish it is. And we need to make reports for the government as well, no way, that are only handling the, the, the fish that comes with the rope. So they have farms like this in different locations, closer to land and they breed up uh, the best fish they can because they, we call it families. And when the fish is very big, it can be 15 kilos, uh, they take up the fish, but they do it every time of the year. They cut up the fish, take out the row, but that, did you, every, every time of year we do take the row out, so we can plan how to, we, we can choose very closely when we want, uh, want the roe to pop out as a fish. That is it doesn't wrong. kill the fish when they take the roe? Yes. It does kill the fish? Yes. Okay. You do. Yeah. To the fish. The seagulls, they very much like the food. Yeah. But the heron, very much like the fish. 
and he can find holes everywhere. If, he, if it stands like this, it will climb up and he will stand on one of these pipes and do like this and oh. eat like crazy. We, we, we taped a video one of these herons one time and one heron ate 50 fish. Oh, wow. yeah. Is that the right no worries. I think